every admission officer I've spoken to has confirmed that they will treat LSAT flex scores the same as regular LSAT scores, and they really have no reason not to. LSAC is saying law schools should treat them the same, and they're giving applicants or test takers the same scores on the 120 to 180 band. Even though there are fewer questions on the LSAT flex, they are still converting the scores into the 120 to 180 scale, and law schools can report those results just the same to the American Bar Association, who in turn will refer them to the U.S. news rankings. That's what will be used. And so a 180 on the LSAT flex will be treated the same for law schools and their stance in the rankings, the same as a regular LSAT score that's a 180. And same goes for any other score along the spectrum. So don't worry whether your score is higher or lower on the flex versus the regular. None of that matters. Get the highest LSAT score possible and apply with that. And the higher your score, the better your odds of get, are of getting into a better law school, getting more scholarship money, or both. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.